ladies and gentlemen, to the Just 2019 World Indoor Bowls Championships live here at Potter's Leisure. What a fantastic game we've got coming up for you. We've got the defending champion Mark Dawes versus the Irish qualifier Graham McKay. What a fantastic game of bowls we've just witnessed, though. The Open Pairs final, Paul Foster MB and Alex Marshall MB versus Greg Harlow and Nick Brett. Well, the first set, 8-6 to Foster and Marshall. The second set went right down to the last bowl. Alex Marshall came up with an absolute stonking, brilliant bowl. 13 across, so they take the title. Well, coming up next for you, as I mentioned, it's Mark Dawes versus Graham McKay. And we caught up with Mark Dawes, defending champion, just before he went out to play. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. We're just having a few technical difficulties with the VT. We'll be with it very shortly. Of course, Mark, defending champion here. Graham McKee's played him a couple of times before. Uh, tight games before. Graham's always just come out on the wrong side of it. So we'll be hoping for a little bit of revenge. And hopefully we'll be able to go over to that Mark Dawes VT very shortly. Just a few technical difficulties there with our VT. I'm sure our boys will get that sorted at some point in time. Of course, we have match officials for this game. It's one of the uh, World Singles games. So you've got umpire Mike Davis, marker is Francis Fletcher, and on the shot clock for this game, you've got Dan Blewett. So I really do hope you enjoy this game this afternoon. Let us see what the defending champion Mark Dawes can do. Uh, like I say, they've played each other previously. And Graham McKee's just come out on the, the wrong side of those scores, but he's uh, he's full of confidence. He's had some great match practice out there. Um, he's playing with a new set of bowls that uh, he seems very, very comfortable with. And don't forget, uh, if you want to stay with us for the rest of the day, we have more games coming up this evening. Humdinger of a game on the cards. Michael Stepney versus Gary Smith. Well, we will hand over now to the live coverage from the BBC. Please enjoy your game. Join me later. WBT event is this 32 year old from County Antrim. Ladies and gentlemen, let's wish him all the very best as I welcome the former Irish singles champion, Graham McKee. And our next player has achieved some impressive results last season, which has seen him being catapulted to the number nine spot in the world rankings. Last year's World Indoor Pairs champion and defending this very title. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mark Dawes.
Don't forget to keep your questions coming in for our commentators via Twitter using the hashtag AskCorky. Let's head up to the commentary box now and join the man himself, along with Andy Thompson. Thank you, Rishi. Much anticipated match this, since we saw what the draw was going to be. Mark Dawes, of course, you've got that pressure of defending champion. It's never easy. No doubt about that. It's, uh, it's Jack Lynn, 27 metres. You've won a title to defend it, especially against a good qualifier. You know, you're hoping for, you know, not, not to be unfair, but certainly somebody who doesn't play indoor bowls all the time, and some of the qualifiers don't. And Graham McKay is one of the uh, really good UK qualifiers. Last bowl, one red. Change of hand, into the forehand. Good sweeping hand, this. You have to give it a chance. 12 inches short of Jack High. <coughs> One red. Keep it out wide. Such a big hand. Overcorrected on the weight. <coughs> so we're still on nine ends. First two sets. The singles, three end tie break, and of course, the shot clock comes into action now. 30 seconds to play your ball after your opposition's ball has uh, ceased forward movement. It's good to see that Andy Thompson's decided to actually make a call in this match. He's got the defending world champion against a qualifier, and he's going for the defending world champion. Not sitting on the fence, David. I'm getting fed up with you <laughs> taking the mickey out of me, so I'm going <laughs> to... You're going to step out in that risky call, yes, are you? Yes, I am. This is a good mm. effort here from Graham. Look, that's a great ball. Oh, oh. Play. Definite one. And we look for the two. Very good last ball from Graham McKee. Right. Yeah. One shot, Graham McKee. Graham will ask the uh, mark is quite a bit. He's not the best when it comes to uh, <laughs> looking First at measures. Zero one. Well, I'm sure you know Graham better than I do. So is, is he as bad as me? Probably not no. as bad as me. No, no, yeah. no one is. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody in the bowl circuit at any international level that I've ever known is as bad as you when it comes to measures. 
You love to give me confidence. In all the years that I've been playing against you <laughs> and knowing you. Jack Lentz, 26 and a half metres. Not that bad. <laughs> Just to start the Graham wanted, really settles them down here, really, into the game. Yes, it's just that potential of banana skin here for Mark Dawes. You know, obviously he's got a lot more experience on the single rink than Graham, but it's been a while since I've seen Graham play poorly on the portable rink. Hey, he's always consistent. I was saying it's an awkward time this, David, isn't it? You know, the crowd have gone out. I think a number will come back. There's no doubt about that, but... We've been sitting down for a couple of hours and want a refreshment. Hard for the players too. And yes, it is. You know, obviously they've got, they don't know if it's going to be 2 0 or a tie break. I know. I which know. can add another 20 odd minutes to it. And then they've got the presentation and everything yes. else to wait for. So it's not easy. No, it's awkward. No, I'd agree. Difficult time when you're sitting around for the second match in the yes. afternoon. Needs a clear run here. I think he's going to be wrecked on his own. It might be worth changing now. One green. And forehand. The only thing about this forehand coming this direction when you change from the backhand is very easy to drop short. Just give it that extra little push. Arjun the ball up. That's good enough. Too green. Just enough, but it just it's so often that happens. It just pulls pulls up short. Attacking ball. Yes. Close. Jack. Oh, he's unlucky. Well he was calling Jack and uh, that's what he really needed. Well he was in the area, wasn't he? Just needed a jack movement. Takes one out, but I think it might still be two down. Graham could do well here just to draw another, but stay away from the jack. He doesn't want to put it beside it. Yeah, I'd agree. Anything just a foot away, just behind is good. Oh, this will swing away big time. He's using a very, very big bias ball. Certainly is. Graham McKay. <coughs> well, this is not a clear path for a draw, so he might be tempted to run again. Mark, the draw is the speciality. Yeah, back to the draw. Sticking to the draw. That's what he plays best at. Just drawing the shot. Misses the ball, he's good. No, oh, he's well played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Running board. One shot, Mark Dawes. <laughs> Set score, 1-1 one, one after two ends. Jack length 26 metres. Mark Dawes, international lead for so many years and now he's moved down the rink, but uh, you can see the qualities of that leading role coming yes. in. Yeah, that's his strength as the drawing ball. But that's why he won the title last year. He was the best drawing player here. Yeah, he's now playing three in the international team to Greg.
Correction made. <laughs> One red. Wait just a bit on the short side. But a, a ball in there. Yeah, it's important. Singles play. Get second shot if you can't get the shot. Get up, he's saying. And he knew that was short. A good line, just after a, a yard of pace. Chance again. Wants to hurry now to get back in. Drops on the jack, he makes a double. Right, right, yeah. Stayed up. I agree if he One falls in, he might just move that jack. Hasn't fallen. Is it falling? <laughs> it's doing its best, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it looks to me as it's if either it was moving falling. or the camera might be just moving <laughs> by a fraction. Well, it looked look to me as if it was. Maybe it was my eyes. I don't know. Good effort, might just tail away. One green. It'd be worth Graham changing now onto the forehand, get some cover in there. He's got a chance, he's got a free draw to draw another. Only danger in the back end is we drop in Jack High, it opens up that trail shot for three. Yep, moving to the forehand. The rest, any of the close red balls, he'll score here. Really traditional sort of player when it comes to shot selection. Has to be under, I think. I don't think he's got the weight. Didn't push through it. One, One shot, Graham McKay. Of course, it was the last ball, so probably not required. Just trying to draw another shot. Set score, 1-2 after three ends. Early days after that wonderful final. Yes, really enjoyed that. Jack Lynch, 28 and a half metres. Clear road, didn't get it. Clear road, it wasn't bad. I think three and a half feet to Jack High. Three and a One red. <laughs> Two red. Bit of a loose end for Graham McKee. 
Yes, nothing very close from Graham. He's got a yard on his last delivery. He, he will draw the shot. His line's fair. Well, this forehand has a tendency to hold off a little bit, but with his big swinging balls, it shouldn't be a problem. It's all down to weight with this. Yeah, it's close. Needs to stop, though. Well, then he'll get second. <coughs> second best. Second shot. Yeah, one red. Francis, Francis Fletcher. Our marker for this match, just making it very clear, is one red. It's asking a lot for this one. Pushed up well. One shot, Mark Dawes. We've played the line. Set score 2 2 after four ends. These players have played against each other twice before. That 29 meters. Mark Dawes is 2 0 up, but they were very tight games. Did they play in Scotland, did they, back they in did. November? Yes, yeah. I thought they did, yes. Yeah, I think, well, I'm not sure. Was that a tie break? I think, from what I think it was that a tie break in the end from yes, memory? Yeah. Yes. Well, been asked by Adrian Hughes, is there a time limit between deliveries just like in curling? Well, there is in the singles, not in the pairs. But in singles, when your ball is stopped, opposition, you've got 30 seconds to get your ball away. And there's the shot clock, and it's reset again at 30. And of course, you have got timeouts during the first two sets of nine ends and an additional one in the tie break. Keeps the game moving. One green. Yeah, I wasn't in favour, actually, I must admit, initially as, as a player. When it first came out, however, I think, like everybody, it's you adapt to it and you get used to it, David. I mean, so it's, I think it's quite a good innovation to our sport. Speeds the game up. Well, I, I think these days, really, and the awful lot's about keeping things moving as well. But there was a case that some players were just taking so long. Yes, I agree. And, I agree. Um, and, and it, was, you know, it was making games almost glacial. Yes, And I that's agree. very hard to watch, yes, really. Yes. Um, and it was, you know, I'm not saying that the top players ever abused it, they didn't, but the reality is that just, it was just taking too long. Yes. Especially when there's no time for it. Okay. 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 A good One red. Over the last Gap on years. that seven inches. There's also very few players get caught out now. You're right. That's what I'm saying. Players have adapted. Players know now when to go up to the head and you, you use the, your opponent's time out, as it were. Most people now probably tend to save their, their time outs as well to the end of the game. One red. Mm. Trouble here, short balls again, yes, and they yeah, a few loose balls here from Graham. Last end as well. He's, he's getting caught out with the overcorrection on the fast rink. So one thing with Mark does, you don't want to let him get into the rhythm. No, I think he'll start to punish you if if you do. <coughs> Not a brilliant end here from Mark, even like the last end, however, he's lying two or three and these are loose. He's not punching them, is he? No, he hasn't. No backswing. It's all it's a push delivery. It's a 
nice line. It's all over this. Oh, it's close. Oh, well played, yeah. yeah. Very well played. Given the chance. And one chance, too many. One shot, Graham McKee. Sets poor, two, three after five ends. Jack length 27 metres. Needs to start getting this first ball going. So we get the pressure on early. Yeah, I don't think either player has really settled. Yeah, that's a better start. Ball was coming at right angles almost. That's as you said, it a big swinging ball he's got. <laughs> steady draw by comparison. Mark Dawes balls. Slightly narrower bias. Yeah, definitely narrower than Graham's. There's of choices, of course. There's lots of pool balls to choose from. There's like 40 sets board balls to make available. The manufacturers have sent them, and uh, Graham's balls are definitely a pool set. Second ball from Mark. It's more like it. That's the danger. Mark goes. Two red. He's thinking, you know, it might be time to hit this. I think there is a case for playing a runner. Yeah. He's in the area. This is a good strike. Oh, it's well played. Well played yep. in the Opened open. It up. Good ball to open it up. Yes. Hit the target. Jack bounced away, so. Bit of a double touch on that, but uh, a lot better. It'll be interesting to see which hand Graham chooses. Jack's out in, the, out in the rink a little bit. So his big swinging balls might struggle to play this side. Even Mark Bell's ball is coming back inside the jack. He's going to have to play the backhand, Graham. I think so. I think he has. Yeah, I think he's playing the backhand. Well, he needs to get inside that ball. He's certainly <coughs> going to get second. One red. Number two coming in. Two shots, Mark Dawes. Good end from Mark Dawes. I think that's the problem for Graham is that so the jacks on the re It's going to be in a bit of bother or even wider of, the, of that, unless it's a very short jack. Yeah, that's the, the disadvantage in playing with a swinging ball. It's not a place for straight balls by any means. You have to have a joined ball out there. But Jack Lentz, 28 metres. There are degrees of that. I reckon Graham's balls are on the maximum and uh, maybe not completely suited to certain positions on the rink. 
I think that's probably why Mark's gone quite long, just to make it difficult then for Graham to find a line. Mark. Just needs to run. Yep. Need another half yard on that to come in behind. Seems a decent looking uh, line. Five inches short of Jack High. One red. Four and a half inches. Urging the ball up. That suggests he's probably shot. Well, I think he's on an inside line, so he knows he needs a little bit of weight to hold it, Andy. His weight wasn't bad. Yep. I was hoping to arrive at that with maybe another couple mm, of feet yes. to hold that inside yes. line. Got the right idea. In the meantime, Mark will just drop another one in. He's always been an impressive player, Mark Dawes. Okay, he came through and won the World Singles. One which, to be fair, he wouldn't have been favoured for that by any means. No, no, he wouldn't have been at the start of the tournament, especially. Mm. <laughs> He really was exceptional last year. Did it very well. And for a lot of us, that knowledge of him from an international point of view, we knew how good he was. Close here, Graham. Oh, the ball's falling out. One lucky. red. Well, Matt needs another ball in here. One ball's looking a bit vulnerable. Inside the green one. Well, chance here for Graham. A difficult <laughs> shot, but there's a chance to. Must play on. this in the forehand, yes, surely. Yes. He's looking, yeah, I think well, he started to look at that. Yeah, I think that's the shot, Graham. He's moving across. The, the trouble with the other side in the backhand, and he is even the green ball onto it, a chance to get onto the jack. And there's a, there's a red ball called. just lurking at Graham the bottom. Graham has four timeouts remaining screen so uh, you know this is where Graham's swinging balls might just come into play a little bit better you know, he might just get a turn on the forehand in the back I'm not sure if I agree with that one I think it's a lower percentage shot on the backhand yeah. with weight because once you put weight on it just doesn't move One shot, Mark Dawes. I think Mark Dawes would have been a lot more rude about that if he'd have played the forehand. Yes, I think so. I think it was, I don't think it was the right choice. So. Set score, 5-3 after Keeps seven Keeps it minutes. tight. Still in the game, Graham. Some folks just coming in after the break from the previous match. It was a long game, that pair. Was it just over two hours, was it? For two sets? Yes. Mm -hmm. Another 20 minutes plus, probably, if there had been a tie break. Yeah, it would have been, yeah, would have been a long game. Well, Matt does just edging ahead here. Graham's got to score, really, on this end. To have a chance.
Yes, it's a must win end. Graham McKee. Better first ball. Yes. Running at this. He's close. Hang into it. Perfect. Great. Oh, oh, that's a horrible result. Oh, oh dear. That looked perfect all the way down. Well, to be fair, he's given himself more room, but he probably deserved a better result than this. Comes back off the red. Still two down. <coughs> yeah, Mark, you were unlucky there. Well, not only that, but you would expect Graham to add another. You'd expect us to be number three. Yep, here it comes. It's going to be number three. Now, Mark will draw this, I'm sure. Three green. No matter where he puts it, Graham McKee will have a ball to take it out. Correct, for four. So, well, it's not easy to draw the shot here. He's only got a foot to draw the winner. Good end from Graham. Mark liked that delivery. Well, he's on a decent line. It's all about weight. It's oh, he's drawing this, isn't no, he? He's not bad here, is he? That's a great ball. Well played, Mark. Boys. Side toucher, and Green has to play it. Must push that ball off. Gets a jack. Oh, that's a nightmare. That probably the set will be over, but yes. He gets the ball. He picks up three. Well, pick your hand, Graham. Don't think I'd be even attempting to play this with the yard, Andy. I think I would just go for the I edge know, of the ball. I agree. I agree. I just go for the ball. Find it, you fancy. Looks like the back hand. Yeah, playing the running ball. He's looking at it. Very close to oh, getting it. Doesn't clean. want the jack. Oh well oh, played today. Andy stayed in. Great ball. Great ball. Yeah, pushed one out and stayed in with the other, so three. Three shots, well played, Graham McKee, that's perfect ball. Three shots, Graham McKee. That was a good end. An attacking player, he put under pressure, and to be fair to Mark, he had a little bit of bad luck with the runner, but Set Graham score, McKee five, took six, full advantage. Three. Graham has three timeouts remaining. 6-5, playing the last end, that's a big three. Well, a lot of just back in uh, Belfast Club when I was playing last week, we're talking about the odds of Graham McKee in this match. Ten to three. Was it really? Jack so that's 24 not bad. metres. That's a good bet. That's a good bet. I mean, I think a lot of the qualifiers were, most of them were good odds, and they could all play. Well, the UK qualifiers in particular yes. here playing yes. on the, not not only just playing indoor all the time, but the vast majority played on the portable rink before. Yeah, that's right. Winners are you could qualify playing tonight, Gary Smith. He's an exceptionally talented player and he's been out step there. I don't know what odds Gary Smith are, but he's a good player. I think they were actually quite decent. Gary were they? Gary R as I call him. Yes, yes. Gary R. Smith as opposed to two other Gary Smiths that I yes, know. Yes, well my old Pierce partner Gary. Mark you running. He's a member of the international league from years ago outdoors as well. Right. Smith. Anyway, back to the action. Yes. Well, one number 
one shot and one just behind. Chance for this. He's drawn it. Doesn't want to drop back on the jack though. He need to drop from the jack then. I think he's been giving it away. So good ball from Matt Doss. Last ball is five inches past jack high. Still just a draw, I think, for Graham. Good weight to get back from there. His weight's good, he'll come back. Will he get back? Oh, close. Just too much weight. Yes, yes. Yeah, just, just chasing it a little bit there, Andy. Yeah, tempting, you know, wasn't it? Back ball position, jack through, ball out clean. One red. One red. Wow. Oh, he's still <laughs> hanging on to it. <laughs> That'll be relief. Look up a relief for Graham. Graham probably feels as though it's going to be hard here. He'll receive final delivery, third delivery of Matt Dawes. Jack movement. Yes, Matt thought, mm. he, thought he'd made a mess of it. Still got the one. Same balls as last with a little bit less weight. Oh, he didn't push it out. Yeah, I get him absolutely punished there. Yeah. <coughs> well, Mark, this is awkward. <coughs> Line of one. Is there room for another? Well, I think there is, but uh, it's whether he's prepared to have a real go at it or just accept the fact that it's a half set and win the second one. Yes, I'd agree. I think he'll try to draw the shot. Just doesn't want the outside of the ball. Well, he's running after it. He must think he's got a chance. Good try. Well, it looks like a tie One set. One shot, Mark Dawes. First set tied. <laughs> Left here, Paul David, I think. A drawn set. Yep, I think that's reasonable yeah. for both players the way yeah. they've been going. Yeah, I don't think anybody's quite dominant. Jack length, 26 metres. Going to pick this jack up clean. That's a nudge. Spray chalk on. Indicate that's a toucher. This forehand just catches people out with their first. If they've been using the backhand most of the time, Andy. It's so Too easy green. to drop short on it. Yes, I'm slightly surprised. Most players are not leading off this hand, and yet Mark mm. is. I mean, I don't know. 
I just wonder, is there, with different lines, are there different weights? Because that's that's unusual to see such a big gap. Yes. Yeah. See, I mean, most players are leading like this on this backhand. This is very good from Graham. <laughs> Passes the jack. Yeah, that's perfect. And the hand it's even better. Yeah, that's perfect. Three green. Probably get second with this one. Held up one well. green. Still went to green, but it'll be forcing a change under the forehand. Yeah, nice draw for Graham. Unless he's got weight. That's what I'm saying. Unless he's carrying a little shade. He has to be a little bit careful here. Oh, well, that's, that's a lot better for him. That's a better single yes. shot than what it was. One green. He could have bounced that jack out into the open very yes. easily, though. Yeah, he's made it a lot better. I don't think Mark will be doing too much here. Just a forehand draw. One shot, Graham McKee. You need to go attack in there. Not being First a ten, a zero one. That minute 26 meters. Chosen here to, to lead off both the four hands. So. <laughs> okay, right. Yes, both players are really playing round the clock, aren't they? Yes, backhand, they are. backhand, yes. forehand, yeah. forehand. That's right, oh, yeah. That's, uh, wow, oh, that, that was close. Goodness me, did not swing in. Yeah. He's close for the jack there. Two red. Drop on the ball. Your last ball. Sixteen inches past jack high. Tempted with the run up. It's not easy. It dives away very quickly here. Might take one out. Well, mm. plenty take of everything room. out. Yes, one out. everything. He's certainly going to be two down with his final delivery as Graham. Yeah, 
This is there's plenty of room, but yep. it'll be uh, it'll be a cheap three if he misses this. Happy with one down here, Graham, at the moment. Decent. Needs to stop. I think that swinging ball, Andy, it's always a help to yes, come right yes, back in. Yeah. Uses the weight. One red. Got second shot, yes. but uh, distance away. Not bad. You expect Mark to draw another here. Up the feet to draw another. Space, didn't he? Two shots, Mark Dawes. Yeah, Set right. score two one after two ends. Two one, Mark Dawes. Jack Lent, 25 metres. To the forehand. Yeah, first I think, ball. Yes, I think uh, Mark's ball forced him into that. A little bit surprised, aren't he? Because with such a the ball he's got, he could come around that ball yes. and just get a good second in even. Yeah, exactly. That's the danger here. Changing his hand. He's not played a lot off Graham. <coughs> They're liable to drop the count. Tempted with this. Yes, he doesn't hesitate to play the running ball. Yeah. He's urging the ball up. I think this will go. That's what damage he does with his own. In a bit of trouble here now. for cover Try to cover the respot it's good enough <laughs> I think Graham will go again well, he's certainly wider this time yes, he's got a better line he's in the area he's looking at the two balls isn't he uh, <laughs> he's opened it out yes yeah, you know, so it's uh, not the best result but one red Settle for it. Yeah, one down. He's got room. Here we go. Struck. Caught one of the balls. Moves the jack. Still one down. to do. Mm. That's, a, that's a miss. Really, right. that's a big miss because you know, you'd expect Graham to get close, but if you'd have really nailed that, yeah. Graham would have had to go for second shot. Yes, yeah. No chance here. I think there'll be the backhand draw now from Graham. Two feet to draw the shot. Push this one too far. I think he has. 
just needs to stop now. And quick, but uh, I think he's drifted through. Still one shot, red. Mark Dawes. Oh, that's, that's a loose one as well. Yeah, chance for Graham to level up the game. Set score 3 1 after three ends. Jack Lentz, 27 and a half metres. Pretty good again. It's going to slip past, but that's okay. Hmm, <coughs> doesn't seem happy about that. Must be heavy. Yeah, just got a shoulder behind it a little bit because the line was always going to be good. Shot bowl or the further bowl, a uh, 16 inch gap, one red. Two red. Could be a forehand runner, I think, possibly here now. Yeah, there's nothing easy here, no, so I think open, open it up. Yes. Yeah, I think he's played the right shot here. Oh, is he narrow? Oh, he's oh, swing okay. big time. Wow. I thought he started off on quite a good line. It just mm. seemed to really dive. Going to have to go faster if he picks that line. They're marginally on the edge of just yes. being too big. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Because I thought he was on a good line, actually, when it left a hand, yeah. and it just really dived. Marginally, just, just too big a draw sometimes mm. on these balls. And that reduces your margin of error quite considerably. So we would expect Graham to hit it with the next one. He's still got the best back ball, so a respot wouldn't be a bad... Yeah, I think it's a good a call. Bad effort, really. Yeah, I think you I'd know, be going uh, in the respot here. Yeah, I think that's what he's heading for. Awkwardness for Graham. Difficult to know how he's going to score. Too red. Yeah, it's a safety margin going in there, but yeah. I think the uh, ultimately it'll still come down to just what way he hits it. Yes. That's all. Keep that line and just maybe add the pace. Oh, I think he's in there. Is he going to hold up? Oh, he still went. Wow, that is really cool. Two shots, Mark Dawes. Goodness me. Well, two shots, Mark Dawes just starting to push ahead now. Been feeding those ones and bananas. Swinging around. Yes, yes. Oh, I 
again. I thought he, he, his lines were both good. Were good with both of them. Just dived away. Well, Graham's got to get back on the score sheet. Well, he needs to get on, to get that jack, and get back down to sort of twenty-four meter yeah, jack lengths. Yeah, possibly. Jack yeah. length twenty-seven meters. Shorter the better. Chance for this one. Yeah, big chance. Yes, well played. Just used the ball to drop off it. One green. For number one. And, uh, rapidly getting to a stage where he needs to start scoring shots again. Yes, 5 1 down. He doesn't want to be dropping any more shots. One green. It's actually ended up in not a bad place. Yeah, I think that will force Mark just to play the backhand draw. And we see the, the red ball, that's slightly blocking his path on the, on the right-hand side at the top of the screen. Prior to that, he quite had quite a nice forehand yes. shot. Yes, he did. I think it'd just be the backhand draw. Struggle to get back. Yep. Just over it. Chance for two, but not exactly what you would call a, an obvious spare opportunity. No, no, not easy. Not easy to score anymore. But I think the important thing for Graham here was that he was he has scored. Graham McKee drops in for well a number played. two. Has he made it? Oh, he might be a bit unlucky dropping out. But we'll be going to the red button for the completion of this Umpire match in just a few minutes. So we'll just get ready for that. One green, we'll measure you know for two. Switch over. I think Mark has indicated it's only one. Mm. He was unlucky, Graham. The ball fell away. Dawes is pretty good at the checking yes. of things. He's uh, very accurate, but uh, better to get the umpire in. Mike Davies will sort this out. Yeah, it looks a gap. I think it's just a one. Unlucky with that, Graham. One shot, Graham McKee. Now, this would be very interesting to see what he does. If I was doing Graham, I think I might have brought the mat right up and tried to get the. Jack on the tee for a 24-metre. Yeah, well, he has brought the mat up slightly. Yeah, I think he's gone 
Uh, this is probably going to be about a oh, 27, I would say. Well, that's pretty close to what Mark's been playing. Yes. Yeah. Jack meant 24 and a half metres. Well, it must be well up 24 and a half. 24 and a half. So mm. it's the mats come up further than what, yeah. Uh, yeah. what we thought. Yeah. That's what he needed to do. Yes. Go, go, anything less than 25 was useful. Yes. And there's a good start. Yeah, perfect start. Exactly what he needed. Five two after five ends, all to play for. And the defending champion has been sort of put to the test here, there's no doubt about it. It's a very, very good match. Two green. Graham McKee, nine two shots. Chance to add a third. And this is very much a challenge for three the green. defending champion to get into this head. He's three shots down now. Well, I'd like to see an attacking ball here from, from Mark. Looks like Graham is lying two, certainly two, possibly three. Favourites three, so it's forehand drive. He's sticking to the draw. Oh, wow. He's sticking to the draw. Now, there is a path in for the draw, yeah. and if he gets one into the middle of that, it's going to be hard to remove. But it's a big challenge to get there. I think he's urging this ball up. Down! Oh, he's played it. Oh, oh well, that's a good ball. That really is a fantastic One shot. One to red. Oh, yeah. good. Matt does. That, that's a marvellous ball under that sort of pressure. Although Graham McKee can get to it, he has to play a runner to it. I'd be pleased with that one. He was in a bit of trouble there, Mark. Still could be. Let's see what Graham's going to play. Backhand draw to turn the jack. Ooh. I might have fancied the forehand a bit more. Yeah. You know, the front plant or the red ball out of the head. Two chances, backhand. Well, that's a hard shot. Yeah, very hard to trail. I think he's just going uh, too wide. I didn't fancy that, man. I really yeah. didn't. You know, it's, that front plant was getting a, an edge of the jack. One shot, Mark Doors. Or the ball out. So, yeah, and a couple of times when he could have played the forehand runner, it didn't as uh, Graham, but score, six, two after six decided eight. against it. But that was a big shot for Mark Dawes there. Massive. Well, he did have another ball left, but decided not to play it. I'm really surprised at that because you know, if you're just in the area at all, the, the margin of error was pretty good. Yeah. You can get the edge of the ball, you can get the front plant. Yes, yes. And I just wonder, is Graham thinking, well, I'm not, sure, I'm not playing those forehand runners too well with these wide balls. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he had, I'd agree, he had probably one or two chances on the forehand. The backhand was only the draw. So, you know, the, the options that were, were greater meters. on the forehand side. Well, line seven. I feel as though Graham must score here. Oh, he's in big trouble.
It says, Thirteen inches. Doesn't want to touch the outside. Oh. You're like me, I was just thinking he's going to punch <laughs> this a foot or so. And it's putting a bit of pressure on the Graham because this is an end, really. He really has to win this end. Yes, he has. Drops anything here, Graham. He'd have to do an awful lot to win this game. He's having a look here. And the big look. All right, has it been kind to him? Nope. Yeah, good ball, but I think he's still one down. Still one down, but a very good delivery. Opened up a chance on the other side. Yeah, we see. Second I ball. It was the double, the double bag. Yep, that yes. was. Yeah. Doesn't show too much, Graham. You know, he's a, he's a very good player. Doesn't uh, show too much emotion in terms of getting upset or anything like that. I think both are quiet characters off the green. Good blocks. This is a difficult shot for Graham, but there's a chance here. Plays the perfect ball, touches the jack, could score one or two. Well, he's close if he bends. Well, he bent. Just over the weight. Yes. That was all. It would have been fine if he'd have got the red ball with that sort of weight. It would have stunned off it, possibly even moved the jack for three. But uh, as it was, it just held him off. And he's going to have another opportunity. I don't think Mark will be going near this. <coughs> Happy with the one. Well, one shot nearly gets him over the line. Probably so does. Yeah, puts you five up with two to go. It certainly hasn't been a high-scoring game. He's trying to reach this back green one. Oh, that's a terrific ball. Yeah, it's a good ball. Oh, good ball. That, that is a super, super ball. That really is. One red. I wasn't sure if he would play that, but uh, that really has narrowed things down. If Graham just... Uh, Hits the jack, could bounce out to the red one. I think it'll still be the same shot for Graham. Forehand, just take a yard off. I'd say the line is fair. Needs to run. It wasn't bad. He'll dive away. <coughs> the ball will always dive. One shot, Mark Dawes. And the margin of error on those Set balls score. just aren't seven big enough. Yeah, he was close, but he was always going to be on the underneath side. 7-2, two, two ends to go. Matt Dawes looking favourite now. Yeah, it's a big cushion, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good cushion. Mm. Five up. Graham, really realistically, has probably got to score at least a, probably two or a three here. That meant 26 pieces. Any chance. Yes, the player shared pretty much the first set. Thanks to the scoreline. Shared the ends one to five to four in favor of Mark Dawes. But in the second set, Mark Dawes now scored five out of the seven. Just upped his game a bit. Good reply.
On the shot bowl? Yeah, got Half inch. Well, anything past here now from Mark is going to be good. <coughs> Half an inch. Jack, Jack's more likely to now move. Anything past over it. Yes, good. One red. Having a look. Oh. Needed the jag. Yeah, that was close. Yep. Needed the jag. Needed to bring it out into the open to give himself a chance of scoring a double. One's just not enough. That's a good try. Well, keeps it going to the next end, one shot, but he realistically has to score a minimum of two. Yeah, I think he does. And that's why you would expect Graham to, to reach again. Mark putting a position ball in here. It's match light. As it sits at the moment, and there's the position ball going in. It's not bad. It's very good. Oh, it's just made the distance. Mm. It's even better than I thought. It's a terrific ball there. And Graham needs to make a change with this one. Good test for Mark Dawes, this. Yes, he's been pushed. Graham's played well. Needs to run hard. He's not far away again. Oh, it was well played, oh, yeah. well played. In the area, I and mean, what's more important is he's pushed it right out into the open. One green. A single. A bit of a help off the green ball. Good result in the end. Mark Dawes' last ball gave him a very good sighter for playing this one. Just beyond where he played the last one, and this isn't bad. Drops back. Well, one green. Still one to green, but he's narrowed it down in terms of not giving Graham too much room for the second. And really, it's a second that he must get. Yes, he really does. Needs to score a double here, Graham, to have any chance in the final end. Not easy. He's only got about a foot to draw another. Timeout called. Time out another 60 seconds and uh, plenty of those left in a way. Mm, didn't like it. Well, he knows he has to be very wide in this hand with his balls. So if he gets to his own ball and locks on it, he'll make the double. Is it going to drop though? No, he didn't lock on it. It had to stay upright on it, Andy. Yes. Looks like one to red. Eh, sorry, one to green. One shot, Graham McKee. Wasn't far away. No, sorry. Fair run, he was good, but needed to be on the high side. So set score seven three. Quite simply, eight. Graham needs a four. Graham has two timeouts three minutes. Another tied set. Not likely to happen, I have to say, but you never know. No, you don't know. You don't know. It's happened mm. before. You do get fours in games, you rarely get them, I would say, in the last end. <laughs> you get them when you need them. Yes, <laughs> yes. So. Jack Lenton, a good couple meters. of opening ball. Well, his first two balls have got to be in the area to give him a chance. Slightly long, which is very sensible. Good start. Yes, that's good.
Yes, very good. Very good. Okay. Right. Yes. yes. Well, he's given himself a chance. That's what you could say. Two good openers. This doesn't look right. Well, that's going to be under pressure if this third bowl of Graham's goes in. Too green. Too green. Yeah. Last bowl is 16 inches short of Jack High. Same bowl again. Yes, rightly so. Doesn't want to change on his forehand. He's played two good bowls there. Same again. Trouble for Graham is that with four down, you're sort of thinking every single bowl has its own pressure. This needs to run. I think he is. I think this is number three. Well, well played there. Not only is it in, but he's not opening up the target. Uh, uh, just a little bit. This, this might just force Mark into playing a weight shot. Yes, Green. there's pressure on Mark all of a sudden. Three great balls from Graham McKee. They're almost all on the line. Yes. The front red's not going to help. Well, will he be tempted to run at this? If he gets it. Time out call. Well, green ball's going to be off the rink. Yes, yes. yes. So. The danger is removing your own nearest ball yeah. and giving Graham an easy four, so take so your choice. What weight do you play, Andy? <laughs> yeah. well, I think he's going straight. I think he's going fast. Very close to his own ball here. Oh, oh that's it. That's oh, he it. got a result. That's One the shot, end of it. Second Shake hands. Of the match, Mark Dawes. Whoa. <laughs> Slightly off the yes, target, he but he got the, the result. Yeah, well played, Matt Dawes. Defending champions. A tough game. Well, it's exactly the sort of match that it, you know a defending champion would like to be in. He knows he's going to be pushed all the way. He's under pressure, so he's responded and played well. And just that last ball, well, brave of him to go for it. Yeah. Slightly off target, but brave of him to go for it, and he got a result for being brave. Yes. So Mark Dawes will take that second set, eight shots to three, and be very happy about it. I never see the strike that could have gone wrong, but he got it absolutely perfectly onto the head, and that's it. Once, well once the green ball went off the rink, end of story. Good match once again. Graham McKee's played well on the portable rink, but uh, just didn't go his way. But a good win by Mark Dawes. That was a good test for a defending champion, a really good test. And, and that's what you want, really, when you're coming in to defend the title. Wouldn't want it any tighter than that, though, when he played play some very, very good balls. In the meantime, Graham McKee, well, he was just missing with a couple of drives, and that cost him in the end. And that's coming into this last end of the second set. Graham McKee needing a four. And Mark Dawes slightly off target, but gets the red ball into that, into the green. Jack goes off, ball goes off, shake hands. Thank you very much. I'm into the second round. One and 11 against seven. Total Scottish score. Well, 14-9, that's that second set. But it, when you think about it, it was actually only one ball that made the big, big difference. And not much between the Jack Lance and Touchers as well. It was a good game, a testing game for Mark Dawes. It seemed to be a testing game indeed, Corky. Uh, the defending champion alongside me. Just how testing was that match against Graham? Yeah, it was always going to be difficult. I know Graham well. Um, now good a player he is, um, and just happy to get over the line. Really, um, since winning it last year, I've not won a game on the tour, so it was quite nice to get that first one out of the way. Well, one of the things I was chatting with Andy Thompson before the start of this match today was the fact that it's a different scenario when you come in as world champion, and just how difficult that is. How have you found it? Yeah, I think actually this week actually a little bit easier than it has a couple of other tournaments. Really, I think there you kind of like. You feel the pressure a little bit more, and obviously the qualifiers are you know, out to beat you, really. Um, here, it was just more of an enjoyment thing. I made a big effort of trying to just come down a little bit early and try and enjoy the whole experience. So actually, I probably settled down a bit better than I thought I was going to, really. With respect to how you're playing this year as opposed to 12 months ago, is there a difference? 
Uh, no, um, not quite as good, especially the first set there. Probably wasn't as good my first two balls, which is the key to my game, really. Second set was a little bit better. Um, obviously, room for improvement, and uh, fingers crossed I can uh, play better on Wednesday. Well, important thing is you're through to the second round. Mark, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a testing game that was for our defending world champion, Mark Dawes. But he makes it through to the second round quite safely. Join us again at 7.30 tonight for a great game on the cards. Michael Stepney versus Gary R. Smith. Thanks for your company this afternoon. Join us again at 7.30.